Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film a video that is actually surprisingly highly requested. It's a minimal makeup tutorial for girls that want to wear makeup to school. So I actually don't usually wear makeup to school on an everyday basis anymore. I did back in year 8 and 9 but now I just like go makeup free and let my skin breathe just so that it's more flawless on the weekend to be honest. So if you guys would like to know how to achieve this simple minimal makeup look then keep on watching this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Personally if I was wearing makeup to school I would skip straight ahead to the BB cream and that's what I'm doing in this tutorial. So I'm using the La Roche Pose BB Melting Cream in this color 01 and this has um, like SPF in it so it's good to protect you from the sun. So I'm just going to go in with this eBay brush and just stipple it all around my face and probably take three quarters of the amount you would just use on a daily basis just so you can thin it out and give it a more natural look. It is always a good idea to get a foundation or a BB cream that is your shade but for school you need to definitely ensure that it is the same colour as your neck so it doesn't look as obvious that you're wearing it. And like most foundations that I wear, I always like to brush it down just so that it doesn't get stuck in any pores and it just looks more flawless. And if you're not using concealer, make sure to drag that foundation up under your eyes just to give an extra layer and make it look more natural instead of going in with concealer. Okay, so that by itself looks fairly natural but we're just going to go in with a sponge to grab any excess product and blend it to areas that don't have it. This will also make it look less cakey and more like a skin texture. Okay, so for me personally, the BB cream would be enough coverage without going in with concealer or anything, but I know for most people, they'll probably want to follow up with concealer. It's just that some schools you're not allowed to wear makeup, and that is including my school, so I would definitely skip concealer, and I'm going to skip concealer in this tutorial, but the one I recommend that looks the most natural but gives you high coverage would be the Maybelline one. Favorite. And try and pick one that is actually the colour of your skin tone, because you don't want to be rocking up to school meant to be no makeup or really really natural and having like a full on highlight you just want to look really natural and like mainly one color now to help my skin look more skin like I'm gonna go in with a translucent powder this one is the Australis ready set go finishing powder in true translucent but if you're not in Australia or don't have this one then any translucent powder will do fine and I'm just gonna grab it with this Real Techniques blush brush and just swirl it around my face but not putting a lot on my face so it looks cakey and completely mattifies the foundation because your skin is not completely matte if you have the oily skin feel free to go in with something that works for you this should work for you but maybe you might have to apply a little bit extra so as soon as you apply some on the brush you need to make sure you tap it off so there's no access on your skin and this isn't going to change the color of the BB cream or completely mattify your skin so it's just literally going to look more skin like and it's going to make your makeup last longer and you can just follow up with a beauty sponge to make sure that there is no powder build up even though with this powder there wasn't but if you change up the product there might be. Personally if I was doing this for my makeup I would not fill in my eyebrows just because I have pretty full ones and I like to minimize the time in the morning so I wouldn't use as many products but I know filling in the brows is a must for most people so I'm going to go in with a natural brow gel and this is Tint My Brow from Australis so obviously you can use any brow gel you that you want if it looks natural you don't want to be going in with like really dark defined brows you want to just have a natural looking one so I'm just going to brush this through my brows Once you apply your brow gel, you just want to go in when it's set and brush them into a desired shape and hopefully they should stay there all day with a gel and a gel also prevents you having to go in with another product to set them because it should last all day with this. Then the next step is obviously mascara and you want to go in with one that just enhances your lashes to make them a little bit darker, a little bit longer and a little bit more voluminous. I was going to use a Max Factor one that I would usually wear to school but that one is actually sadly discontinued so I didn't want to show it and everyone would be like oh my gosh I've got to have it and then be like no it's not available. So I'm just using the Bobbi Brown Smoking Eye Mascara and just like a teensy bit of this and obviously it's in the shade black but if you want to go a little bit more dramatic and make them a little bit longer and more voluminous go with the brown mascara as it looks a little bit more natural. Even if this is a natural makeup tutorial you always have to go in with curling your lashes just as it keeps them up all day because you would 
So that is all for mascara. It literally just enhances them and makes them look better. Now for lip product, all I'm going to use is a lip balm and this has been one of my favourites because it just like smells good and it's really moisturising and it's just a free one that I got of Cherry Culture but any lip balm will do but preferably no colour and just clear. And obviously if you don't like it too shiny you can dab it off with a tissue but I like this look so I'm going to keep it like that. And the reason why we didn't do a bottom lash mascara is because obviously we want to keep this look to a minimum and just to look very simple. So that basically comes to the end of this little mini school makeup tutorial. It's super easy and super quick so you don't have to worry about being late to school if you use it because it's just super quick and easy. And I hope you guys got something out of this video and I hope your makeup looks more natural when you go to school so you don't get told off. Or if you can wear makeup to school then obviously you can go with a little bit extra but this is majority for the girls that just want to look really natural or the girls that aren't actually allowed to wear that much makeup to school. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any more videos from me and I will see you all next week. Bye!